In the very first video about electric charge, its discovery and its properties, we have seen that when we rubbed glass rods with silk cloths and plastic rods with cat's fur, they got charged and the observation was that they attracted and repelled each other when they were brought closer and which proved that these bodies were charged on rubbing with these uh, silk cloth and cat's fur. And other experiment what we have done was that we brought in contact the oppositely charged objects uh, like silk and glass rod, cat's fur and plastic rods. And after that what we have observed that now these rods do not repel or even attract. So what we have derived from that the charges cancelled out each other. The positive and negative charges on the objects cancelled out each other and one more thing which we can derive from that is that uh, charge transfer takes place when objects come in contact. But this information from the first experiment is not sufficient to explain the very first phenomena which we have discussed that when a charged object like amber is brought near small pieces of paper and other filings it attracted them even though those objects were not charged but we have seen that charge ob charged objects attract or repel but in this case only the amber rod is charged and it is attracting the pieces of papers which are not charged. So what happens here? What is happening here? These objects are getting charged somehow and they are being attracted towards this amber rod. So this process of charging is called as charging by induction. These uh, small pieces are charged by induction. So to get a hint about induction and what it can be do you remember from the video how bodies get charged that every object each and every object always in have a large amount of positive as well as negative charges in it but the amount of positive charge is exactly equal to the amount of negative charge so the objects are generally neutral but this gives us a hint how these objects can be charged or can be attracted even without being charged or can be charged without being charged. So the objects already have a large amount of negative and a large amount of positive charge in them already present and what we have to do only we have to somehow separate these charges. If somehow we can separate the negative and positive charges in any object we can make it behave like a charge object and this is what is done in induction charges are induced or the charges already present in the object are separated somehow and how the in how induction takes place and what is induction you will